This is one section of my seven part finger style guitar jump start course. This course is going to take you from knowing absolutely nothing about finger style guitar to playing your first piece using finger style technique. Now, before we get started, you're going to need the tablatures. Each one of these seven sections has tabs and I definitely want you to have those. So what I've done is I've created a free course guide for you to download. It's got links to all the video lessons and all the tablatures that you're going to need. So check the video and check the description for the link so you can download those tablatures. All right. Alrighty, welcome to today's lesson. I am so delighted that you're here. Today we're going to learn the chords needed to play a blues in the key of E, and we're going to learn how to strum those chords. So grab your guitar and let's get started. I want you to hold your guitar and I want you to take your second finger, that's the middle finger, and I want you to put it on the fifth string second fret, okay? And I want you to take your first finger and put it on the third string, first fret. And we're gonna get, we're gonna have those two at the same time, those two notes, and you're gonna strum all of the other strings as open strings. That chord is called E7. We're going to be using this shape all week. Okay. All right. Next, let's try an A7 chord. With your third finger, play the second string, second fret. That's here. Okay. And with your second finger, play the fourth string, second fret. And we're going to strum, but we're going to start at the fifth string with the thumb here, and we're not going to strum the sixth string. That is A7. Okay. Now for the third chord, B7, this often gives beginners a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to show you the pro version. And I'm also going to show you an easy version, so I don't want you to sweat this chord. Okay, so take your second finger, fifth string, second fret, first finger, fourth string, first fret, third finger, third string, second fret. Okay, that is the easy version with three fingers. And if you could get that open second string in there, that's even a bonus. We want to try to avoid the high E string there. Now, give your hand a rest. Don't, don't ever hold a chord for too long. We want to rest. We're going to do the same chord, but we're going to add the pinky. And I understand this may be really tricky. I'm going to give you some tips. Do your best with it. But this is the pro version. So if this is hard for you, just do the three note version. Okay? That's either one is totally acceptable. Let's start again. B, uh, sorry, fifth string, second fret. Fourth string, first fret. Third string, second fret. And now put your pinky right on the tip of the finger on the high E string, second fret. If you can get all those notes cleanly, it should sound like that. As I said, that's the pro version. If that's hard, just, just do three fingers. Now I want to give you a word of caution. Look at my left hand wrist. Okay, there, there's a little bit of a shadow on it, but you'll notice I'm not, I'm not bringing it way out. There's no extreme angles. I'm not doing that. I'm also not doing that. 
okay, the wrist and the hand should be relatively in line with one another, okay? So if you're looking at the front camera, you're only seeing my hand here, but I'm, I'm not bending that wrist out. We don't want an extreme of either position. It should be relatively straight. So just go gentle with the chords. Hey, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to let you know real quick, in case you want to really take your guitar playing to the next level and take lessons with me directly, you can check out studywithadam.com free for 14 days. There's all sorts of cool stuff in there that's exclusive content, lessons for my solo arrangements, improvisation lessons, a great community. Plus, you can even upload videos and I'll watch them. So be sure to check it out. It's free for 14 days, studywithadam.com. Okay, let's go back to the lesson. All right, let's talk a little bit about strumming. Take your right hand thumb, we're calling that P, as you'll remember, pulgar, and place it on the sixth string. Okay, and what I want you to do is just pluck that lowest string very gently. Okay. Now, what you can do is if you change the angle slightly, you can let that do that same motion, but we're going to let the thumb strum all the strings. So, might have to change the angle. And you can just let the thumb go right down to the floor. Okay. Now, let's grab that E7 chord. Uh, put your second finger, fifth string, first finger, third string. And now let's strum all those strings. Okay, that's one strum. Now let go of the chord. Something that I like to keep in mind is not to clamp down for long periods of time on a chord. Because I don't want to strain my hand. You know, the hand... This is, we're not at the gym. We, wanted, we don't want to use too much strength. We want to use coordination. So something you can do is let go of the chord ever so slightly just to kind of take a breath. Okay, you don't need to continually press. So if you look at your screen, I'm going to show you right now four rhythmic slashes. So you see the chord symbol above, and then you see these four slashes. That's going to mean that we're going to strum the E7 chord four times. Why don't we do that together? Okay, so here we go. Ready, and one, two, three, four. See? Easy. Okay, so if you can do that, you can play our piece, which I've aptly titled Strumming the Blues. We're just going to practice strumming through these three chords that I showed you. Now, if you're brand new to this, I'm going to forewarn you. One of the trickiest things is switching chords. So don't worry too much about that. Do your best with the chords and in time you know, maybe in a couple weeks time, it's going to get a lot more automatic because you're building brand new neural connections, quite possibly, between your hands and your brain. So I can remember actually the moment where all of a sudden it became easy to switch chords. I remember when it clicked for me. So uh, just be patient. And one last thing, if you, if you would like, you can either strum the chords so they ring, or if you have enough uh, experience and you'd like to try this, you can let go of the chord ever so slightly and then use another finger, I'm using my third finger, to mute. That gives more of kind of a rhythmic sound. What, whichever one you prefer, okay? So grab your guitar, or you should be grabbing it already, and let's play 
this piece called Strummin' the Blues. And I'm going to count for you, and I'm going to tell you way ahead when a chord switch is going to come. Okay? Here we go. A one, two, ready, play. This is E7, two, three, four. Third measure, two, three, four. Now we're gonna get ready to switch. Two, three, to A7, and one, two, three, four, two. Get ready to switch back. Get ready to switch to B7. Switch to A7. Switch back to E7. Do it again from the top. And a one, two, three, four, two. Okay, now we're going to switch to E to A7. Here we go. And two, three, four, two, two. Switching back to E7. Get ready. And go to B7 to A7. So what we want to get is a nice sort of thump in the strumming. Nice rhythmic feel. I hope you have some time to practice this a little bit today. Tomorrow we're going to get into some thumb picking, making this more of a finger style guitar sound. So I can't wait to see you for tomorrow's lesson. All right. You've just finished one section of my seven part finger style guitar jump start course. Now, each one of these seven parts has a corresponding tablature. Plus, at the end, you're going to learn and be able to play my original guitar piece, the Boom Chick Blues. But you're going to need the tablatures in order to do that. So what I've done is I've created a course guide for you to download. All you need to do is look in the video or in the description below, click the link to download the free course guide with all of the corresponding tablatures. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you in the lessons.